luxury, power, handcrafted engineering. Mercedes-Benz of Clearwater has given us the 2022 Mercedes AMG GLA 45 in your polar white. New this year, AMG Night Package, which we have. It's a more sleek styling. This is going to be about a half an inch smaller than your base GLA, but it's going to have the performance to back it. It's going to go after rivals like your Audi RS Q3. We don't even get that in the United States. Your BMW X2 M35, this is gonna pack more performance than that, more torque than the Audi. Interior is gonna have the luxury styling with AMG updates. You're gonna have the single pane glass with two 10.25 screens in it that's gonna give your information to make it more sporty, more elegant, and tech savvy. I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rides. We're gonna go over all the specs and details starting now. Mercedes AMG GLA 45 is going to have that sleek styling and because it's a low riding vehicle when you add that night package what are you going to get the gloss black that's going to be on the lower spoiler your grill trim the outer air intake AMG side panel inserts the belt train and the window lining trim are all going to be sculpted in the high gloss the exterior myriad caps going to the rear with your tailpipes they're also going to be blacked out and that massive diffuser that's going to make it look super aggressive LED headlamps 6.2 inches of clearance so it's going to have a wider stance at 72.2 inches and a height at 62.5 inches that's going to stress these 21 inch AMG matte black cross spoke wheels they got six pistons behind those brake calipers which is insane 14.2 inches ventilated cross drilled this thing is just ready for raw performance 174.6 inches of length 107.4 inches wheelbase comparing this to that Audi or to the BMW this one's going to look a lot more aggressive than both of them you got AMG tuned suspension AMG performance formatic standard three-stage AMG ride control that adapts each wheel damping by the millisecond I mean the engineering for a vehicle that's not priced at six figures you can get this around fifty sixty thousand dollars that's crazy and I like the sleek styling that just drops into that rear with the LED tail lamps blacked out badging for the GLA 45 in your AMG chrome bumper protectant here working down the lower with that gloss black that's on the top and on the quad exhaust outlet you got the side gills so aggressive styling that's what you're getting even though we have a diffuser you can still cut that put towing nearly 4,000 pounds out of this little thing that is insane. Going inside, power tailgate to get to your cargo at 15.5 cubic feet. We have storage underneath the floor with a 12 volt. You got some storage on the sides. The rear bench split folds at a 40-20-40 split that's gonna max the cargo to 50.5 cubic feet, which is the best in class. This is a handcraft AMG turbo engine. Let's go inside and hear that exhaust now. The new Mercedes AMG GLA 45 is a crazy powerhouse and they back the performance with a handcraft AMG 2.0 liter inline four cylinder turbocharged producing 382 horsepower and 354 pound feet of torque. That's paired to an AMG speed shift DCT eight speed transmission achieving 19 to 25 MPGs a zero to 60, Mercedes says around 4.3 seconds. Some of the reviewers are saying 
under four seconds. Quarter mile, 12.4, top speed, 155 miles per hour. This thing is about a second quicker on all the perimeters than your base GLA. And it is super crazy, the styling that you get out of it. When you're comparing it to the Rivals, this is faster than the BMW. It's almost the same speed as that RS Q3. But you know, we don't even receive it in the United States. Let me know in the comments what you think about the 2022 Mercedes AMG GLA 45 as we go into the interior, go over the tech, and take this for our test run. Entering inside the Mercedes AMG GLA 45, you're gonna receive 40.8 inches of headroom, 41.1 inches of legroom. It's gonna be a racier interior starting with microfiber and Napa leather mixture on the seats. You have 10-way power adjustment for both the driver and passenger with manual cushion extensions, memory for the driver and passenger, heated front seats as well. You're gonna have the carbon fiber look on the door panel, on the dash. I like what we're going with here. It's performance driven. You have a one piece with two 10.25 screens of information and it's all glassed out. Only thing is I wish it was a little bit larger. However, you do have all of the information you need except for navigation. It is touch screen. If you're AM, FM, Sirius XM, Bluetooth connectivity, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you also have your Comfort, which has the kinetics, which will move the seats kind of like a massage seat. So I do like that. And you can also change the ambient lighting. I believe there's 64 different color schemes. Click back into the home. You got your AMG performance page and your Mercedes me apps. The performance page, this is gonna be the best part because you can go into your engine. You can see everything live as you can see. It does show you your consumption and you have your dynamic selector as well. If you click onto your mode select here, you could change everything to make it more sporty as you like, or you can do the individual. The best thing is you can also alter the shifts. You can alter everything here to make it more sporty and dynamic, which is a nice attribute, especially when you're taking this type of vehicle out because it has a lot of performance. Switch it to reverse. You do have a reverse camera with trajectory and you do have two different camera position settings. So it does make it easy for your reversing. Coming down the lower, you got the black trim with your air vents, they're circular. I do like how the crafted look is because it gives that sport flair, which again, more race driven. Dual climate control settings, a large pocket for storage, a USB port, cup holders, a 16.9 ounce will fit. You can adjust this and you can probably fit maybe a 32 ounce. You do have your touch sensitive, your voice recognition and your touch for the infotainment. So you're all taken care of there. Your dynamics, you can change it on the fly right here, up and down for your radio and you got a little palm rest. Open up inside here, it's deep, it's not wide and it's not necessarily that much in storage but it's a small car at the end. Elbows, gonna be pretty firm, but this is AMG. With that AMG steering wheel, flat bottom, perforated leather, and you got the cross stitch, multi-function with the touch sensitive, and you got the paddle shifters. For the gauge cluster, you can click onto the home. It is a touch sensitive. You can just slide it over here. You can change different views. You can make it classic. And you can also change things in the center of them as well to make it even more intuitive. Click back into the home, scroll back over to your designs, and you can change that to sport. Makes it a lot more sporty derived. You can change it to super sport, which gives us the full sport outlook. You can change it to understated, which makes it more elegant and luxurious. And you can change it to your standard display. You also have your AMG performance here, which you can change on the fly as well. So that way, again, you can see all of the boost, everything that you need to make it more sport attributed. And then the dash from the ends taper into the door panel, they protrude up. You're gonna get the contrast stitching, you get the ambient lighting, power seat adjustments on the door with the memory, one touch up and down for all the windows and storage is just as large as the GLB. And this is smaller, this packs more performance, something to consider. Let's see how I look in the back. For the back seats, I'm at 38.1 inches of headroom, 38.4 inches of legroom, six foot three, and I fit relatively fine. Elbows are gonna be more sporty back here than there, and the seats are actually more firm in the back than in the front. Air vents in the center, open that up and you got a 12 volt, two USB-Cs and a storage tray with storage behind both of the front seats. Not a flat floor, so we'll see how I look here in a second in the center. I do have these seats reclined. So just to show you, if I can find it, there it is. This is actually the way you would sit normally. So it's not gonna be the most desirable. You're gonna really wanna do it this way, but you still have around 60 cubic feet of storage, which is crazy. Door panel, you're gonna get the contrast stitching. 
One touch up and down for your windows. Storage, I would say you can fit about two or three 16.9 ounce water bottles. I do like how the door panels are raised and you sit a little bit lower, even though you have a pretty decent ground clearance. Let's see how I look in the center. Sitting into the center with it reclined, headroom, absolutely no problem. Leg room, I'm kind of sort of close to the back seats in the position I'd be sitting, sharing feet, leg, butt, shoulder space. However, three adults at six foot three, if you don't want to go to the GLB, you can get this vehicle and you'll fit fine. On another note, this vehicle is so fast, it's within a second as quick as your C63. Taking the new 2022 Mercedes AMG GLA 45 out for our test run, they have tuned this thing insane. Zero to 60 speeds are literally almost as fast as a C63. This is half the price have you. This is also lifted up. This is also an SUV. Dual clutch transmission. You have the power enhancements that you need and it's going to obviously be a little bit more of a firm ride, but look at this. Look, if I push the gas. Insane. And you get a nice exhaust note when you do it. AMG Performance brakes, they're larger composite brakes. Look at this. Does a great job. 382 horsepower, 354 pound feet of torque. When this light turns green, we're going to see what this AMG handcrafted engine has to give us. One day, one day, one day. Oh, these lights, one day they'll turn green. Yeah. Here we go. Unfortunately, I couldn't give it the go I wanted because always at these lights, people pull out in front of you. But now we're going to go up onto the interstate so we can really hear the sound deadening in the interior. And so far, what I do like is you can hear the exhaust note. It's not as loud as I would necessarily want it to be, but at the end of the day, it's a small engine. So it's gonna be harder to really enhance it much more, almost 400 horsepower. So they've done a really good job with that in the AMG team. As you get up to speed though, it does get significantly louder, a lot more louder than the GLB, unfortunately. Even if you step up to the GLB AMG 35, that one's still gonna be a lot quieter. So they, I guess because it's a little bit of a smaller vehicle, you got 21 inch wheels, you really can't complain about much. Now we're going to do a little bit of funness here if we can, no one I think is behind me yet. And we're going to stop right here in the middle of the road and give her a go. You get the spit, you get the speed, it is insane. BMW, this car's coming for you. Audi RS Q3, we don't receive it here. There's really no point to say, is this one better, is that one better? Because we don't even receive it in the United States. The interior specs, I do like what we're working with because it's so sporty. Looking through the front, you do have enough visibility. You have your blind spot monitoring. It does feel pretty decent. It's not that artificial with the dynamics and it does stay relatively planted. Not a perfect 50-50 weight distribution car, but again, I mean, they do a good job trying to make it so much and you have so much AMG additives to it with the suspension, with the performance formatic. I mean, everything is working in milliseconds to get you the best performance drive. Now, there is three things I like and three things that I dislike, because anything more than that, I'd be buying this vehicle. The three things that I like about it is you're getting so much performance and you're saving so much. If you're comparing this to a C63, that is insane. You're literally you can almost keep up with it. Like within a second, zero to 60 is not a huge difference. The second thing that I like about the vehicle is the fact that even though it's small, you can still fit five adults, six foot three. Yeah, it'll be a little cramped, but you can also tow nearly 4,000 pounds. You could put a jet ski on the back of this. The last thing that I like is if you are not looking to get a GLB, you can get into this and it's about the same equivalence in the price point, especially when you're going into the AMG line and you're gonna get much more performance out of this, so more bang for your buck. Three things that I dislike, unfortunately, you get a lot of bang for your buck. The engineering was done, a lot of handcrafted stuff and a lot of work to make the dynamics and the drive great. It's very firm. The seats are comfortable-ish. They could be a little bit more comfortable to take away from that ride, and it is a little bit more noisy than the GLB. The second thing that I dislike about the vehicle, you're not gonna receive the navigation. You're gonna have harder materials. Yes, they give you microfiber suede inserts. Yes, they give you leather. Yes, you get 
more than 12-way power adjustments if you're considering the manual cushion extensions. But at this price point, I mean, it's hard when you're looking at it. Yes, you're buying a performance-driven vehicle, so I get it. Here we go. get up so quick to speed. It's just a fun to drive and pleasing vehicle. The last thing that I dislike about the vehicle is in the back. They take out a lot of the amenities to make it more luxurious. So what I mean by that, you don't really receive any ambient lighting. You get one light that's by your door handle. You don't really receive a lot of the attributes that's in the front door panel and the rear. You do get the storage and they're all USB-C ports. So if you do go for a new Mercedes Benz, most of them, you'll have to change your charger if you don't have a USB-C port. They do have a home plug, so that is a nice attribute. That is because of the Premium Plus package that also gives you that power tailgate as well. So some of the things I wish were standard, you do have to pay for some of the features and it does escalate the price. But if you get the base one, you will be sufficient and happy because I mean the performance drive out of it, it's not gonna really alter anything in the sense of your comfort or your cargo, maybe one or two charging ports, but you'll still have sufficient amount of charging. So you don't have to opt for all the options. I would option the night package because that does make the highlights on the exterior stand out a little bit more. The 21 inch wheels you could do without them if you want a little bit more ride comfort but if you want the full performance styling you got to go all amg just such a fun car in and out of things without any issues speed is there luxury is there everyday vehicle yeah you could do it is it practical i mean as long as you're not pushing the gas all the way does it beat the bmw i mean interior space yes performance yes gas consumption not necessarily but again almost 400 horsepower. And the nice thing is you can do a double tap to forward that transmission to lower it quicker so you get even quicker shifts. So they have really thought of everything for the performance. You have more cargo space, more towing than the BMW. It's gonna be a little less than the RS3 Audi, but we don't again get that in the United States. I like to thank Mercedes-Benz of Clearwater for giving us this 2022 Mercedes AMG GLA 45 for our car review. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Hawkeye community. If not, click the next video, that subscribe button. Check out the details, merchandise, website, and everything we do here at Hawkeye Rides. Cargo at 15.5 cubic feet.